Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, learning how to get all of the outputs from our VSTIs so that we can do manipulation on individual tracks or send different instruments out different outputs. When using something like Easy Drummer or Steven Slate Drums, it gives you the option of using multiple outs from the one instance of the plugin so that you can have your instruments, for instance, kick drum, snare drum, out separate outputs and you can do whatever processing you want to the individual tracks as opposed to doing everything as one output. You can do the same thing for things like Contact or other VSTIs where it actually lets you do multiple outputs and give you multiple instruments within the one plugin. Let's dive into the DIW and see what we're talking about. So here we are inside Studio One and what I've done is I have created a few tracks. This blue one on top is Steven Slate Drums 5. I'm going to click right here on the piano and you'll see the VSTI actually pop up. And the last time I was in here it was actually in the mixer view. But usually you'll get this view when you go right in. I went ahead and dragged over one of the available grooves that's inside of Steven Slate Drums just to give us a little something and to show us how we can split our outputs. But really we don't even need to hear what's going on. What we can do for Slate Drums 5 is come over here to where it says Mixer. Now on each one of these, you can see that it already has a predefined mix for this kit. But maybe you want to do your own processing with your own plugins, and you want to be able to split all of this out. Down here on Steven Slate Drums, you have the option of changing your outputs. So on the kick out, I can go ahead and click this and change it to output 2. Output three for the snare, so on and so forth. I'm gonna fast forward and do the rest of these. Okay, there, I have all of my different tracks of my drum kit out different outputs from Steven Slate drums. Now, let's see what happens when we hit play. We're only getting the kick drum, and that's because we're only listening to output one. And you can see it actually even renamed my track to output left instead of SSD five. But let's figure out where all of those other outputs went. What you'll wanna do is in your mixer window is make sure that you can see instruments. It's available to you on the left over here. Then what you can do is right click on SSD sampler five for me. And then right here is expand. When you click this, it shows you all of the available outputs for that multi-out VSTI. So as we start clicking out, they'll populate our mixer. Now when I hit play, we're getting all of the outputs from the VSTI. Instead of just coming down one fader, it's now spread across what looks like 15. And I can go ahead and put different instances of whatever plugins I want to manipulate these tracks the way they are. Something you may want to keep in mind for Steven Slate drums is in the mixer of the plugin, this all plays into what's coming out. You may need to come back into the plugin and adjust some of the levels coming out to your mixer so that you're able to balance your mix. We've seen how to do it on drums. Now let's take a look at how to do it on a multi-out instrument. Over here, I have Native Instruments Contact. And this is a contact player with the free library that's available from Native Instruments. Everything that I've been using today is all free. You can see the main part of the window here. I have three different modules to create the sounds that I'm going for. I have an electric piano, a sequencer, and a jazz organ. I just kind of grabbed some randoms. I also have my USB MIDI keyboard, the Akai MPK Mini, plugged in so that you guys can see that what I'm doing over here will translate right into the instrument live. So if I play some notes now, you can see I was triggering the electric piano sounds, but maybe I wanna start playing around with this sequencer that's in here. How do I go about doing this? Well, what I need to do and what I can do again for you is create new tracks to send it up a different MIDI channel. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove these two green tracks over here. I'm gonna do that by doing Shift T. That'll remove any selected tracks. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna add some new instrument tracks. I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard. I'm gonna select instrument and I want two additional ones. 
And now what I could do is just create a new instrument or I could add them to an existing instrument. We can hit that, bring this down, and do different outputs from contact. So since I'm making two tracks, I want these to be ascending. I want it to go channel two and channel three for these additional tracks that I'm making. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And there it is. I named them Piano 1 and 2 because that's what I had. We can easily go in and rename these. But you can see here on these two tracks, and we'll make them bigger, it's connected to the correct instrument, and it's connected to the correct channel of that instrument. And you can always go in and modify what channel input it's going to the VSTI. So this first one, we can see, is going to channel 1, and I have it set here as channel 1. Then our sequencer is channel 2, and our organ is channel 3. So now with my keyboard and this first track selected, we'll get our electric piano sound. Now I can hit the down arrow on my keyboard and go to the next MIDI instrument channel and now start playing. Wait, there's nothing. We have to do the same thing we did before. We have to come over here to our instruments and expand it and show our outputs. This will activate the outputs of that multi-instrument. So now we have our outputs activated, and I'm going to play some notes. It's a sequencer, so why not just hit one note? Now let's do the same thing for the jazz organ. I'm going to hit down on my keyboard. Now I have this track selected, and it's going to be sending up channel 3 to our contact player. And you can see over here on the mixer, this is where our jazz organ was coming out. Something to watch for when you're doing multi-out instruments is you can actually have multiple recording and monitoring. So now I have all of my tracks that are connected to the contact player on an active, and I'm going to hit one note. And you can hear, you were able to hear the sequencer, the jazz organ, and the electric piano very quickly. That had a faster decay, so it died out real fast. <clears throat> Knowing how to expand your multi-out VSTI expands the capabilities that you can do within your song and the software itself. Adding instances of plugins that you may need to do, adjusting EQ on individual parts without having to continuously dive into the plugin. And it also saves on CPU because you're only using one instance of that instrument instead of multiple to just stack different instruments within it or different outputs from it. That's all for now. If you found this video informative, please like and share the video. For more, visit timflansbaum.com. And if you have a question, ask it in a comment and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.